Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing the differences, uh, well, not really differences, the com comparing the Honeycomb Alpha, which we have right here, with the Thrustmaster's TCA Bone Edition Yoke. We're here at an airport. I'm just going to do a quick uh, circuit around, and uh, we're in the Kodiak, a plane I'm most comfortable with. Uh, so I feel that's the best demonstration of the differences between the two yokes. So uh, we have live weather, weather turned off so that we really can just, we're just getting used to the yokes. We're, sh we're sh showing the difference between the yokes, sorry. And uh, you can see how much movement there is to it. My, you know, I guess you can see the differences between takeoff and landings and uh, you know, kind of compare them yourselves. There's our takeoff with the Kodiak. And we're just gonna do a nice little circuit around here. So quick little flight, nothing special. Don't expect procedures. I'm leaving flaps down uh, for the entire circuit here. Let's make our coordinator turn here. Now, I've, I have many, many, many hours with the Alpha, and only a handful with the Thrustmaster uh, Boeing yoke. So, it's hard for me to really say that I have a lot of comfort with the Thrustmaster. I think it's a fine yoke, and I don't really have any major complaints with it itself. I do have a video up on my web or on my uh, YouTube channel here um, for my impressions and I guess a, kind of a review of the yoke itself. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check it out. But I did say that in that video that I was going to look at doing maybe like a comparison video, and um, that here we are I'm doing that comparison video right now. So you can see. It's going to be more so the, the movement, right? The movements of the yoke, the movements in the aircraft. I know the, the flight sim screen is kind of small. More so I want to showcase that webcam just so you can kind of see the movements in it, like I said. So we're getting ready to make our final here. Now, yeah, don't judge me too much on, the, on this. Uh, on this landing, or on the, these procedures, even on this landing, I guess. We're not looking for complete smoothness. Alright, we're far enough, we can make that turn. So the honeycomb, I do have the sensitivity down by minus 20. Minus 20. I had it at default, but I saw a tip. Uh, that you get better better uh, response at minus 20 and I've noticed a difference myself personally so I've been I've kept that at minus 20 and it's worked out pretty well airport right there 500. Alright, so I guess if there's any kind of uh, way you can compare this, it's going to be by the landing, of course, right? Which I don't think is really fair, because it is all based on user. I know it's going to be a little hard to see the, the pitch angle adjustments I'm making with the honeycomb. Compared to the Thrustmaster, when we get to that part. All right, here we are on our landing. 134. Nice, nice overall. A little off the center, but not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, Thrustmaster attached, and then we'll check that out next. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we are back in. The flight sim here. We are with the Thrustmaster Boeing yoke here, and you can tell the difference. Obviously, is the uh, far the way the the yoke comes farther to you. So I have to push my chair back a little bit. Uh, it also comes down much lower to you. 
uh, compared to the honeycomb. But other than that, it's still uh, it's still a, a great you know, joystick. There's no differences uh, with that itself. So let's get this flight going and uh, let's see. Park and brakes and thrust forward. Same thing. Live weather turned off. We're just going to do a circuit. Was a 134 with my last landing, so again, it's hard to really judge it off of that. So you're going to really judge it on overall the movements uh, that will be made with both yokes, you know, sensitivity, smoothness of it all. The one thing, like I, I just feel like I have a little bit more control. With the uh, Thrustmaster, in terms of smoothness, it just feels that the turns are a little bit smoother. The uh, the, the pitch is smoother. That's that's been my biggest thing between the two. I feel like I can, I can just manage things a little bit nicer, the way I like, not as jerky. And that's why one of the, another reasons why I, I chose it. I try uh, chose sorry the Kodiak. The Kodiak is a bit of a jerkier plane, so we're going from extreme. <laughs> we're going to the extreme with the aircraft. So after the video, after I do these flights, I'm actually going to watch the video myself to kind of see and compare my own determination based on that as well and see if it's all just a placebo effect or or is it actually less jerky right so this is a, a big thing for me too something for me to kind of get to know and see but my really my really honestly my only complaint with the Thrustmaster is that it just the the handles itself you know right up here I like the honeycomb rubber plastic feeling the coating it has on it I like that a lot more than I than I like the full plastic that this one has it just feels a little bit more natural in my hand it's more I don't know if it's just more of a personal preference because I'm so used to the honeycomb or if there actually is a, a pretty big difference or not with it but I, I do know after a couple of flights with this one my hands kind of felt like they're cramping up so I again I don't know if that's just because I'm used to the honeycomb or not all right let's make our final curve here so I know the last landing I came in a little bit slow on the initial approach that, I, that I'm comfortable with kind of keep the speed up a little bit more on here, so I have a little bit more control over that landing. Boom. A little high. Didn't expect to be this close. <laughs> Came a little earlier than I thought. Alright, now we got to do a little balancing act here. Faster, like I want it to be. Looking pretty decent. All right. A little harder on that one. So there is two landings. It's a uh, you know, full takeoff, full landing. Comparing the two different yokes. You're going to make your own determination on this one. I can't really give you which one's better, which one's worse. I think it's worse. Uh, I think it's all based on your own personal preferences, what you're looking for, the space you have, the amount of money you have to spend on it. Uh, I think that the, the honeycomb's a, bit, a little bit cheaper. I think it's 250 maybe. 
uh, the Thrustmaster, I was able to get it on Amazon for a cheaper price. It was, came up to about 280 but I think it retails for like 399 or something. So uh, kind of also depends on what kind of aircrafts you fly. Are you more GA? Maybe the, the Honeycomb might be better for you. If you're more commercial, maybe the Boeing would be better for you. Either way, they work with either either aircraft types. So uh, go ahead and make your own determination on that. This is just simply showing you the uh, comparison between the two yokes themselves. You may comment down below what your thoughts are, uh, which one you have, and, and uh, which one you prefer. You know, if you have uh, the Honeycomb, how long you had it for, why do you like it more than the Boeing, have you considered getting the Boeing, if you have the Boeing, how long have you had that for, have you considered getting the Alpha, you know, and why do you like the, the, the Boeing more. So leave those down below and give me a thumbs up on this, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.